Hey guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, the Undead Nightmare, DLC, part two. So we find ourselves at Fort Purser, Port per Mercer, I totally screwed up. Fort Mercer. It's been a long time since I played. We're back recently trying to finish the DLC, finally. And um, yeah, I had a great time with the first part. Unfortunately, the DLC is very short, like two hours long, actually. So we might have like, this might be the last episode. Or the one after this, for sure. But, uh, yeah, I'm back. Honestly, had a great time with the first one. Some of you guys, a lot of you guys seem to enjoy it. So we're back. Okay? We are back and ready to kick some ass. Some zombie ass, that is. I actually don't know what's about to happen. I remember this part of the map was actually also in Red Dead Redemption 2. It was really, really cool. Hey, somebody's out there. He ain't one of them. Open the gate. Howdy, mister. This might be the safest place in the entire world right now. You're gonna be okay. Step right up. Step right up. Don't be shy now. Don't be shy. Oh my God, this Nature guy. Nature confounds us, but science saves us. That's the truth, sir. That's the truth. West Dickens patented tonic. The only one bustling everyone all over again. 200% guaranteed cure against the undead stalking this earth. It not only brings health and fitness to the sick and needy, it repels the undead and saves souls. Why, it's a natural miracle, and it's available now here at the low low price of only 100 solid gold coins that sounds expensive but what price eternal damnation <laughs> you sir you look healthy would you like to give it a try me sir yes sir would you care to demonstrate the undead defeating possibilities of this <laughs> patented elixir no sir i would not what I would like is for you to stop peddling this nonsense right now. 100 gold coins? Well, what price would you pay for survival? You tell me, Mr. West Dickens. You tell me. Well, since you put it that way, um, why don't all you chaps all take one for free now? And uh, if you like it, when you like it, you'll know where to find me. Uh, you won't find any undead around me. <laughs> Take it, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. These people have lost their families. They've lost everything. Well, that's not my fault. I'm just trying to make an honest living here. No, you're not. Well, uh, okay. But can I help it if demand is high? Hi? I'm offering the people hope, John. That's a precious commodity. The tonic really works. <laughs> These poor, awful, undead creatures can't stand it. <laughs> Come here. Take a look. I don't know if you guys remember him, but he was the biggest scam artist in the first part. in there like he was gonna be good yeah works like a charm uh, well it wasn't quite what I expected stuff is like catnip to those bastards uh, well I, I I need more desert sage and uh, violet snowdrop and then I know I can cure this foul plague okay Back to doing your dirty work, am I? Now, don't be like that. Don't you remember the good times? Please? I'm an old man! All right. Here. Take it. Maybe you can use it to attract some of them. Okay. I'll see what I can do. And thanks. I'm sure this will come in real handy in case I want to meet some new and interesting friends. Interesting. 
All right, so uh, build undead bait. Find five desert sage and gap tooth ridge and five violets no in the northern part of tall trees. Undead bait is thrown a weapon that will lure the undead to a location that works well for trying to escape groups of undead or attempting to gather them for more ex uh, explosive reasons. All right, I think we have one right here. Hold on. Hello there, zombies. How you doing? You doing good? Okay. That's one. Desert sage. That's only one of them. <laughs> and we need a couple more. We need five of those. I would have thought they would have given me all five just by finding one bush, considering how annoying it is to find these things. All right, I'm going to take my horse and I'm going to get the hell out of here. It'll probably picked up these flowers along the way as I was riding over here. I got a bunch of symbols on the minimap. But then again, that doesn't necessarily mean that's what it was. Yo, these flowers are a pain in the ass ah, to find. Here we are. Holy hell. I can't buy a, a, a survivalist map here either. I need three more. One more right here. That's what I wanted. Perfect. Okay, that's three. Two more. Holy hell, this is insane. Not so fast, you diminished fool. <laughs> we just tired of this up. <laughs> I don't think this is it. Oh, it is it. <gasps> Finally, we got the last one. Alright, perfect. So we've got all desert uh desert sage flowers. And now we have to go to our map and we have to head all the way to the dog trees. We fast traveled over here to the McFarlane ranch. And uh, this is what we're going to do. This mission has been a pain in the ass, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to edit most of it out, but just finding the flowers and stuff has been an overall pain in the ass. Hopefully my horse gets here in time before I get there on foot. That'd be great. Thank you. Come on. Come on. We could do this. There we go. Get, get the freaking horse. All right. We got to go to the tall trees. Just going to be quite a long distance from here. But thankfully, we've got a nice little fast horse. Let's go. Oh, we're going to have to go up there. Holy hell. Um, how are we going to make it up there? Let's go. Mythical creature. Yeah. Oh, what? Bro. No freaking way. No, 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 come here, come here. What the fuck, Morty? Why is it underwater? I cannot believe I just lost a mythical horse, which I did not even know fucking existed in this game, to this river. It fell on the river, literally, on the damn river. I'm gonna lose it. I am like gonna die right now. Oh, hold on. There's something right here. I've got a flower. This is one of them? There we go. There it is. The violet snowdrop. Oh, ooh, there's two right here. Oh. There is two right here. Perfect. Alright, we need two more. And there's one more here. 
Now oh, we need another violet snowdrop. One more, guys. One more. Let's go. For the ultimate remedy. Now these are actually a lot easier to find than the last ones. The last ones were actually really annoying. Oh, see? Right here. We got it. Guys, please. I know your husband and wife, but you about to die. Okay. <laughs> Nah, we got That's the last one. Alone, so got the last one, boys. But he's not here, bro. He fell into this fucking waterfall. Like a moron running away from me. Need my stupid lasso skills. Scared him off. Alright, here we are. <laughs> Another satisfied customer, Mr. West Dickens. Oh, hello, John. Yeah, poor fellow can't get enough. As I see. Get rid of him, would you? Why? Well, because we're old friends. No. Uh, uh, because uh, we'll team up and fight the forces of darkness together. No. Uh, because I've got something you want. Uh, trust me, you cynical bastard. <laughs> Oh. oh, thank you, dear boy. <laughs> you oh. cynical bastard. Thank you. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, did you get the stuff? Of course. Oh, excellent. <laughs> oh, wait just a minute. <laughs> What's the mystery about, bro? Like, <laughs> ah, here you go. Now, these should help. If I've got my mathematics correct, they'll blow the buggers apart. <laughs> and if you've got your hmm. sums wrong, oh, ye of little faith. Now, listen, John, you're going to need some more serious weaponry. I've got a plan, <laughs> but you need to pick up some old parts at Riley's charge. Another shopping trip. Yeah, well, excuse me if my efforts at salvation are interrupting your busy social calendar, John. I'm only trying to help because... Because <laughs> we're old friends. I know. You better not be wasting my time. Uh, me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Perish the thought. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's cool, dude. Get up from that. All right, well, that shit works. For the love of all that's holy. I think we're here. Let's see what's going on here. Hmm. Riley's charge. Do we have to clear this spot out too? Um. Hello? Search. All right, so we just gotta search for, this, for, the, for the stuff. Return to the old parts. Nigel was thickened. So are you kidding me? Boom! Oh, fucking shit. Darn you! Bring your stupid stockings! Wes Dickens! Uh, Nigel! Where are you, old man? I'll watch this dude be dead. Better not have gotten killed. Under here! <laughs> Get out here! Are you alone? No. I brought the great mass hordes of the undead with me. Of course I'm alone. Well, it's not the undead I'm worried about, dear boy. I kind of like them. It's the normal people I can't stand. What's happened? No, don't be like that. I haven't done anything, or stolen anything, or even lied that much. What then? <laughs> A bunch of people just chased me out of town. They blame me for everything that's happened. 
I tell you, John Marston, I've been selling health tonics for years, from here to Timbuktu, and never once has there been a, a demonic <laughs> bloodlust or the undead rising up. It's preposterous. Okay. No. They want to hang me. Me. An honest salesman. Can you believe that? Snake oil merchant who cried wolf. Well, yeah, something like that. Um, well, I'm headed south. I'm, I'm headed down to Mexico. I hear things are much better down there, not to mention the, uh, the climate and the nice locals, but uh, also the merciful lack of cannibalistic morons with infectious eye diseases. <laughs> oh, did you uh, get the bits and bobs I requested? Sure. Ah, ha, ha. Excellent. Uh, uh, just a moment. <laughs> I would assume he's gonna craft something for me. No, I don't. Oh, 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 <laughs> I risked my life for this? A blunderbuss? Is this a joke? What is this, 1850? Oh, ye of such little faith. You've been hanging around cattle and killers too long. You've got the compassion of a mass murderer and the intellect of a cow patty. I'll stick your faith in this gun where the sun don't shine. This is the weapon of choice for demonic horde killers everywhere, from Romania to Edinburgh and all the other places the undead roam. You can put pretty much anything into it and blow a bunch of the buggers away in one go. Makes your rifle look like a pea shooter. You better not be lying to me. Uh, would I lie to you, John? Uh, to others, I admit the occasional uh, <clears throat> sin of omission. But to you, never, dear boy. Now, I... Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, ah. yeah. Now, I am headed down to Mexico. Is there any chance that uh, I will see you there? We shall see. Well, if you're interested, I should be at Solomon's Folly in a few days, trying to figure out a way to get in. I hear the border is not as open as it used to be. <clears throat> Ta -ta. <laughs> Ta -ta. The blunderbuss is an explosive weapon that can take out multiple undead at once. It uses undead body parts as am Oh, what the freaking hell is that? Holy freaking hell, dude. All right, guys, we're back at Fort Mercer. I think what I have to do is sleep a couple of days in order for this guy to get to where he has to go. What is this? Missing. <laughs> in a time of enormous crisis, I might have known the government have you boys doing the work of a common clerk. Well, thank you for your input, citizen. I'm glad you find the laugh so funny. <laughs> My pleasure. Do you think this poor girl's family finds life quite so funny right now? Family? I assume she was a common killer. She's a missing person. Missing presumed dead, I guess. But you keep cracking them jokes. I'm sorry, mister. I guess I spoke a little out of turn. I ain't the one you should be apologizing to. Just find the girl. She's 15. Millicent Waterbury. Take down the poster? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Let's just keep it. All right. I think we're going to go ahead and just save this girl. At the end of the day, um, we don't have any main missions right now. I don't know if this game is forcing us to do the, uh, the side quest, like the survivor missions. So, I don't know. I kind of need your help. Those of you that have done this, do I just have to like keep sleeping in the game and save the game and then a mission will appear? Or do I have to keep doing 
uh, survivor missions. And if so, what are those missions? I'm a little confused. Yeah. Alright, let's see. I mean, I could search it up online, but... I don't know. It'd be nice if I could read the comments and you guys just give me some tips. I think she's up in that house anyways. Let's see. We're here. She's probably being held captive. Or who knows? Maybe she just ran away. Oh, oh, never mind. By the way, she doesn't look 15. Oh. Hey, stop that now! <laughs> These look so stupid. Oh, kill the undead and save. Is John Marston. He done fucked up with the wrong cowboy. Oh my god, thank you. That was awful. Are you Millicent? Yes. Come on. Your family's worried sick. Ah, oh, she don't look 15. I just, Never yeah. In all my life. All right, so we're going to call my horse. My handy dandy horse. What were you doing out here by yourself? That's an infected dog. Help us. Will you Run get on the damn horse? Let's get you home. What's your name, mister? John. John Marston. I've heard that somewhere before. You from around here? I spent some time down here, but I live in West Elizabeth. I have a small farm up there. My wife and son, they've got the infection. That's terrible. Do you think there's a cure? I sure hope so. Otherwise, well, I don't want to think about the otherwise. <laughs> Gonna have to kill your wife and son, you John. I'm pulling at the house like a pack of wolves. It was like they could smell me in there. No offense, miss, but they could. It's horrific. But they <laughs> well, like shit, miss. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> no offense, miss, but they could. I don't even know where these people are at, honestly. Maybe I should like pin it so the game can kind of tell me how to get. Oh, they're for mercy. Yeah. Okay, of course. Yeah, that was actually yeah. a very stupid question. This sickness, it ain't like nothing I've seen before. You're telling me. I mean, my Uncle Pete gets incoherent and mighty gropey from time to time and coughs up some bilious horrors of morning, but never anything like this. I'm pretty sure whatever your Uncle Pete's got is saloon related. Now let's try to get you back to whatever left your family in one piece. Ooh. Let's go! It just gets worse! I'm like super paranoid that I'm gonna like over trigger my horse and then just gonna fall back and this girl's gonna die on me. I'm gonna have to do this all over again. I'm really not looking forward to that. I knew it was all going too smoothly. Well, she did a backflip. She didn't even fall. Oh, no, you don't, you stinking coyotes. I don't think so. Mm -mm -mm. Absolutely. I don't know if those are coyotes, man. They're dogs. Same shit. Here we are. I can't seem to get away from this place. You guys want to open up or what? Thank you. Good luck God helping damn, your family, look at her Mr. Mom. Marston. Thank you. Mom looks sick. Plenty of more just like him, Mr. Comedian. We got a whole host of missing folk. Yeah, that's up to you, pal, because I'm, I'm just not going to do it. Okay, I've got other people i got to attend to. Okay? So, uh... Suit yourself, buckle down, and go get them by your damn self. Oh my God. Go. 
No, no. 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 Do not get to fuck this up for me. Do not. Do not get to mess this up for me. Not this time. Not again. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna stay here. Lassoed in. I don't remember how to tame these animals in Red Dead Redemption. It's been too long. There, little horsey. There, little horsey. There, 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 there. There, little horsey. It's okay. It's okay. Please calm down. Calm down. Let's go. Just calm down. Yep, just calm down. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's okay. You can come this way. You can come this way. Come on, run, 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 run. Cannot lose this horse. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go, little buddy. Here we go, little buddy. Here we go, little buddy. Sick animal. Come on, baby. Calm down. Easy now. Revenge, maniac. Revenge. Revenge is the sweetest joy. Settle down, creature. Goddamn demon. This is what hell is wrong. You're mine now. The whole world gone crazy. We did it! I freaking captured the horse! <laughs> Please tell me I'm recording this. Oh my god. War can set enemies on fire? Fuck yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my god, I can't believe I captured the freaking horse. This horse has unlimited stamina. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm fanning out right now, okay? I'm just saying. This is real shit. This part of the video is being recorded about two hours after when I lost the horse into the lake. I stopped the recording after I did uh, the main mission, the last main mission. And then I logged off because I was trying to see how I could get the other main mission. And I figured out that I had to do some of the survivor missions, which are like the side quests that I've got to do uh, for Bonnie and some of the other people, like the one that I'm going uh, to now. And then I was just roaming around literally at the beginning of this portion of the second recording. But of course, it's going to be all in one video. And out of nowhere, I like laying my fingernails. And out of nowhere, I see a mythical creature. Mythical creature. I see mythical creature nearby. And we fucking did it, dude. Holy hell. This oh. Whoa. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> set them up on fire. Holy shit. <laughs> what the hell? This horse is insane! Die, you demons! Die! Oh my god! I don't even think I'm gonna have to use my ammo for, uh, uh, for the zombies with this horse. I can just run them over. 
And I'll be honest, the best thing about this horse is the fact that it's unlimited stamina. Unlimited stamina means I don't ever have to worry about stopping the A tapping. Because you guys know, it, it really sucks when you just fall over your horse. Anyways, Whoa. enough about my beautiful, amazing war horse. <sighs> Let's go on and do some stranger missions here. I'm going to do like one or two and then um, we should be that much closer to unlocking the... Uh, it's like the fourth mission for this undead thing. Undead DLC. This town is under attack. Okay. Yeah, that's a stranger mission right there. A survivor mission. This is part of the story in a weird way. It really is part of the story. Okay, hold on. Took it out on him and whatever. Bro, you can run over the people. It's freaking hilarious. They just set on fire. Dead ribs. I'm, I'm assuming that's for the blunderbuss. Let's go inside here and see what the, what the sheriff's got. Come on, let him go. Come on, boy. Hey. Well, try to. Sorry, boys. She didn't give me a whole lot of choice. Hello, John. Welcome to paradise. Hello, Marshal. <laughs> Might have known you'd survive. What's going on? Do I look like I commune with the undead? I don't know. Well, then how would I know? My job is to take care of the folk who live here. Oh, you <laughs> heard that one. How's that going? How's that going? Well, <laughs> let me put it to you this way. Cattle rustling and bank robbery are at an all-time low. But murder, blood drinking, and psychotic episodes seem to be somewhat prevalent. Either that, or I'm dreaming. That's what I'm hoping, too. How was it getting in here? It was crazy. Oh, they must be hiding again. They come in and then just disappear. The town's been nearly overrun a couple of times. Now we're low on ammunition, and I'm two men down. I'll help you clear the place out if you like. You're a good man, John Marston. But before that, I'm gonna need my deputies back. What happened to them two clowns you had before? Gone? Maybe. I sent Jonah off to look for Eli. They've both been gone for several hours now. Who'd want to eat one of them? <laughs> That's a good question. Where'd you send them? Out near the general store. Jonah's got one of these new guns. I'm sure he can't Ooh. run into any trouble. Sawed off? These things, they'd stop an elephant. 
Thank you. No, thank you. I'm sure you got your own troubles. I mean, would I want to use that rather than the blunderbuss? I mean, I guess the more <clears throat> the more options we have, the better, right? But I would say that the blunderbuss is probably the best one. Look for John and Ellie and around and around Armadillo. Okay. Now I will call my fancy dandy horse. I'm much obliged to you. Come on, you stinking horse. Oh yeah. Oh dude. I'm sorry, I just I cannot get enough of this freaking horse. I'm trying to stand still. So sick. Let's go. Alright, wait, actually I don't need my horse. They're right. <laughs> They're right here. The mission's right here. Sorry, man. It's I'm just hypnotized. By this damn horse. Hey, Mr. Got me thinking hey, all Mark, sorts of shit. A couple deputies nearby. Marshall's boys. Jonah and Eli. Are they Jews, mister? I they sound Eli? like Jews. I don't know. Eli. Why? Why? <laughs> this whole thing is nothing but a Jewish plot. You do know that, don't you? I find that highly unlikely. Well, I don't like Jews. Or colored folk. Or natives, now that you mention it. Well, you're a nice, kind-hearted man to meet in a time of trouble. Kind does not come into it. Why? What are you talking about? Why? I bet you like Catholics. I can't stand them neither. Nor women. Fabians, socialists, homosexuals, Asians, or British. Between them, they've ruined this country. Ruined it! It was a good country once. Now people are eating each other, and it's all the fault of the Jewish, British, Catholic, homosexual elite and their ideas. Well, I, for one, won't stand for it. Have you ever met a Jewish person? <laughs> Thankfully not. Or, uh... What an idiot. British, Catholic, homosexual? Not in my store. Oh, I, I get it. I see you acting clever. Well, let me tell you this. The Jews killed Lincoln. That's why there is a triangle on the money. And they run <laughs> Europe like one of them Arabian harems. Now they've sent this here plague to kill all us decent folk. <laughs> yep. You, sir, are truly a remarkable fella. <laughs> Thank you kindly. I must say, it's a rare pleasure to meet someone with such a grasp on human history. You take care of yourself. I'd hate to see you get savaged by someone and watch the life force drain from your hate-filled body. Uh, hey, hold on there. Why don't you join me in my fight, sir? It's not too late. I fear it is for me. Then I will fight them alone. All of them. America is the land of the free. And that means free to people like me, Herbert Moon. Absolutely. No! Oh, no, no! Oh. <laughs> you can't eat me! <laughs> I don't know why, but I saw that coming. <laughs> well, there's that. Um, continue the search. Oh, wow, wow! Hi. Fuck it! Yeah, that's what I thought, you stinking idiots. Oh, he's alive. Oh, look at him now. He turned. Oh, I'm sorry, Herbert. M Moons, you said it was? Just got clapped. Yep. Right over here. Oh. Oh, what the heck? Hello, boys. Marshal sent me and need some help. How do zombies just stop and think? Guess you got other plans. <laughs> it's still Seriously, sad. enjoy your meal. No problem. <laughs> Easy now, gentlemen. Remember all the fun times we had? Oh, my God. Well, oh, fuck. 
Well, Marshall, it looks like we found your boys. Well, that worked. I think you were dumber when you were alive. <laughs> Return to the officer, Marshall, uh, to tell him about Jonah and Eli. I don't know why I said Ellie. I think I said Ellie earlier. If I did, I'm sorry. Too much The Last of Us to my sister. What can I say? Hello, John. Hello, Marshall. So, you find the boys? I found them. <laughs> I understand. Oh, it was fast for them. It was fast. And they died with their bellies full. Well, one of them did. Good. And there's Jonah's gun. Here, you keep it. After all, you earned it. Thank you. <sighs> Take care of yourself, John. You too, Marshal. at the McFarland Ranch. And let's go and speak to... I want to say this is probably going to be First Bonnie. First time earth and you turn up. Could my week get any worse? Oh, oh man. Nice to see her. you too, Miss McFarland. Oh, I thought you'd be dead. I heard things were bad in West Elizabeth. Sure. <laughs> but it'll take more than an apocalypse to take me down. What are you? A demon or a cockroach? <laughs> oh, fear. How's your father? Fine and dandy. He should be coming out of that barn any moment now. Daddy! What's he doing in the barn? Daddy, John's here! Mr. Marston, you remember? That idiot bounty hunter. What was he doing in the barn? Just rounding up the undead and keeping them safe so the rest of us can go about our business. He's a real man. He's probably playing around with him. Daddy, stop teasing me! Oh, her dad probably now, died. How long's he been in there? Not long. Only since. Oh yeah, he did. Yesterday. Yesterday? I better go have a look for him. Would you, John? You are kind. Call out to me if you. Find anything. I will do. Oh man, he's dead. Absolutely dead. I think she's just in denial, pretty much. Look for Drew in the McFarland barn. Yeah, she's in denial. Yep. One hundred percent. Should we climb up through here? What do you say? I actually think this is the way. Or not. Oh. God damn it, Johnny boy. Or maybe. Maybe it was through the uh, water tower. Or whatever this is. I don't know. It's been a long time, guys, okay? I see what's happening here. Yeah, this man's dead, bro. Okay? Sorry, Bonnie, but your father is a zombie. Clear the barn of the... Oh, my God. This dude is deader than dead. <laughs> Drew! You all right? <laughs> yeah, he did. Sorry, Bonnie. Okay, that's one. Yeah. Oh my god, that sucks. Okay, we've got one more zombie. He's gonna drop downstairs. Is that Drew? Where's Drew? Drew, are you in here? Oh, poor guy. He probably got bit. Ooh. <laughs> fuck that Drew. Fuck, fuck Drew. Kill him now, John. Don't, don't think about it. It's not him. Yeah, good times, pal. Sorry, 
Mr. McFarland. You were a good man. Just gotta make sure he did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bonnie's probably gonna hate me. I don't really need to call my horse. Just gonna call him. Might get there before he arrives, but I just want to show off and let Bonnie know that I've got a flaming horse. I am the man. Around here, you understand? Yeah, that sucks. Honestly, I'll BS aside. That kind of sucks. Well, John, you always do bring sunshine to my life. I'm sorry about your father. I'd like to say he died doing what he loved. But he never was one for eating folks. Not slathering from the lips and howling at the moon. I guess I'll content myself with saying that he died protecting those he loved. Indeed. Well. Take care of yourself, Bonnie. You too, John. She always wanted him so badly. Crazy. Eternal Never pride. All my day. All right, so I definitely believe we should end it here. We've done a decent amount of missions. I was actually going to end this episode by like the 28-minute mark. And then I said, you know what? I got to keep going. And then we found the fucking horse. And uh, everything just turned around. It's been a great day. Built with great adventures. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want more Red Dead, Undead, Nightmare, drop it a like. And hopefully, catch you later.